Hello and welcome back to another Binx's Guide to the Beast Tribes. We are out here in Western Lanosia with the Saha Gim. If you're looking to teleport here, Ilport is going to be your closest teleportation point. And these guys have my favorite Beast Tribe quests for the entirety of ARR. They are quick, easy, and just a lot of fun to do, so I highly recommend them for casual job leveling. However, I also highly recommend having flying before you attempt any of the quests out here for three reasons. One, the gates. God, I did it again. You know what? Screw it. I'm leaving it in. One, the coral. Two, the gates. Three, the fates. I got dyslexia going real bad today. So the coral, depending upon weather and time of day, will literally just turn into a giant blob. And with a lot of the glowy effects out here, especially on the other side of the wall, it makes navigation just, it's so disorienting. It's ridiculous. The gates, they're incredibly deceiving. You look totally fine on one side, you step through. You've got at least two, potentially four to five dudes waiting on the other side to mob your ass. And then the fates. This corner here, which is the primary fate faded area, <laughs> it's the primary questing area, is the heaviest faded area that I have found to date in the game, and I am halfway through Stormblood for reference. So, save your sanity, have the ability to fly over all of the crap that you do not have to deal with out here. And with that in mind, we are featuring few, and it's Spawning Ground Salvation, which I'm not actually... Okay, this is the Sentry one, okay. I had a moment of wait. Which one is this? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go over here. And this one, being a uh, mob based quest, where I find these, you will find them. I believe there's a total of like five or six. So this is what they're gonna look like. There's these immediate two. Should be another one back here. Yeah, there's two more back here. There's one here, one back over here, there's one right there, and one right there. Oh, seven. Hey, look at that. There's one way over here, too. <laughs> so, but you've got a couple of choices. Things around here can get busy, so if one's down, go look at the other spots. Um, and essentially, what all you're going to do, literally, is you're going to come in here, click on him to interact, right-click to interact. He's going to have some dialogue. You can be like, no, I'm not giving you the stuff. You're going to be like, yes, yes, you are, and you're going to kill him. And, uh, fix my... There we go. And there's one, and you're gonna need three of these guys, so it's literally dealer's choice. Whatever three happen to be up and or are most convenient for you, feel free. And I'm actually gonna go take one of these guys back over here next to the guys. So the captives are all always going to be right here. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that. So, they're always going to be right here, right next to this main entrance. I can grab this guy since he's back here closest. Alright, and with three of those down, now you're going to come talk to these guys. You are going to have a moment where you have to click on each one, they're each going to say dialogue, and you're not going to be able to move or do anything while they are doing their little dialogue before they run off. If you are in doubt as to whether or not this dude here is going to attack you because he does migrate a little bit, cover your bases and just knock him out. So, as well as don't take the chance, just knock him out, call it good. Right, you're going to right-click to interact, it's going to bring up the key items, you're going to use the key. And here's going to be his little dialogue stuff. Gotta click through that. And until he runs off, you cannot move. So like I said, if you you have any doubt in your mind that this dude's going to kill attack you, because he can kill you even if you cannot move. So just, just kill him and cover bases. I am finally high enough level now. I don't have to worry about that. Again, it's right click to interact, bring up your key items, right click to use the key. Uh, get, got gouging the north. I don't know what achievement that is. I will have to go look that up. Anyway, I apparently just earned something. Anyway. Alright, so once you've completed that, you're gonna head back to Few. And be like, he's gonna be like, yo, did you do it? And you're gonna be like, yep, we did. So, again, this was Spawning Ground Salvation with Few.